Henry. Hey. Hey. Welcome <clears throat> to the Coleman Golden Casino. Oh. Is this legal? Oh, so there's no law against a friendly game of cards. Since when do you think a game of cards is friendly? I, know, I thought a friendly weekly poker game would be fun for all of us. And keep you out of trouble. Yeah, well, it's better I play with you guys than the sharks I normally hang with. Well, it wouldn't be better if you didn't play at all. Are you casting aspersions on my capacity for self-discipline? No, your gambling addiction. Mm. Trust me, sweetheart, these stakes are nothing I could become addicted to. Where is Vienna? Ooh. Well, um, I left my wallet and my jacket upstairs, so she went to get it while I set up. And she should have been back by now. Well, maybe she decided to stop and fix her makeup. Because what else could be on a woman's mind other than looking good for her man? I think you just stepped in it, buddy. <laughs> well, what else is there? What else is there? <laughs> oh, here she comes, my partner in business and in life and in love. Hello, baby. Whoa. What? How? Could you? What? What did I do? This. Oh, oh, that. How could you do this without even telling me about it? I, 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 didn't, I didn't actually do it. Well, obviously, you were thinking about it. No, I didn't think about it. Then why do you have this brochure? Because I was gathering information so I could decide if I wanted to think about it, which, if I did, I would tell you immediately. You can't talk your way out of this, Henry. It was a nice try, though. It's not funny, Brad. No, it's not. This is sneaky and dishonest. Maybe you guys should have this conversation somewhere else. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, and we can't agree. You are going to go and get yourself neutered? Can we call it something else? This is their discussion, honey. Well, okay, you call it a discussion, but when one of them needs stitches, what do we call it then? How could you go behind my back about something this important? Uh, how could you? Because I want a baby. Yeah, I don't. And I didn't do anything about it. You sabotaged my condoms. She poked holes in his condoms, did you know that? Now, now who's being sneaky and dishonest? You know, Vienna, he does have a point. Honey, this is their discussion. No, 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 Stay, stay. Okay. Maybe I was wrong by not telling you about this earlier. But please, you have to admit that you were wrong, too. I admit it. Okay. Then can we agree to talk about it next time? Like Katie and Brad? Yeah, well, that's the key to our happiness, right, honey? Happiness. And doesn't that sound great, huh? Yeah? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Can we play cards now? Because hmm? I'm feeling lucky tonight. <laughs> <laughs> cards before sex. Good thing we didn't go through with it, huh? Go through with what? The vasectomies. Wait a minute. You were in on this too? You think I want to get a vasectomy? Like, I don't want to sing falsetto. That doesn't happen. What were you doing there? I was just along for the ride. This is not Disneyland, Brad. I know that, I know that. I was, just, I was just giving Henry some moral support. What's moral about it? It's responsible, you know, to make sure you don't contribute to an unwanted pregnancy. Well, I want to get pregnant. Do me a favor, Brad. Don't help me out. I'm sorry. I just want Katie to understand why I was there. Well, I'm not sure that I do. You hate hospitals. You can't even talk about medical stuff. You wouldn't go anywhere near a scalpel unless you were seriously considering this procedure. I want a baby. You're not just humoring me? Of course not, but you know what the doctor said. It'd be very dangerous for you to be pregnant right now, so I just want to make sure that there are no accidents. That's all. I wish I could believe that. It's true. Why don't we just play cards? <laughs> Good idea. Sorry, I don't feel like it anymore. Can someone please tell me what the hell just happened here? Katie. Katie, okay, come on. I mean, can we can we talk about this? Katie. Oh my god. Katie. Katie, come on, honey. Okay, so don't move, don't move. What happened? What, 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 what? It hurts. Hurts where? <laughs> You're bleeding. Katie. Oh, my God. Help me. Please, help me. In here. She's passed out. She's bleeding. What happened? Look, I don't know. I came home. I found out she was bleeding. She was just, uh, she 
Boss conscious before she could tell me what happened. The doctor will be in a moment. Could you please wait outside? No, I'm going to stay it? here. Please, sir. You need to do this for her. They're still, they're still examining her. What happened? I came home. I found her. I found her on the floor. Oh my god! Have the doctors told you anything? Not yet. I, this, this is crazy. She was fine when you two left the lake view. Outside too. I mean, 20 minutes later, I come home and she's, she's uh, unconscious, bleeding. Oh my god! No, she, 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 she'll be okay. Well, that's what I'm praying for. She, your wife had an ectopic pregnancy. They ruptured her fallopian tubes, and she lost a great deal of blood. So what are you going to do? I mean, how do you fix it? Well, we're going to take her to surgery. I don't, wait, I don't understand. How did this happen? Well, okay. it's not uncommon in women taking fertility drugs. Fertility drugs? Okay, that's not right. This is messed up. I gotta no, no, Fred, it's, it's not messed up. Just let the doctor do his job. No, you don't understand, okay? She knew how dangerous it was for her to get pregnant. That's why we stopped trying. She wasn't taking fertility drugs. She was. What are you talking about? Katie didn't give up having a baby. She was still trying. Did she tell you that she was using fertility drugs? No, no, she didn't say, but it makes sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, not after what Bob Hughes said. I mean, he said that her body yeah, could not support a pregnancy really right now. She wants a baby. So she lied to me. But first about the diaphragm, and no, now she this. You knew that you didn't want to try. Yes, of course, Vienna. Of course, I didn't want to try because I was afraid something was going to happen to her. It'll be and okay. I was right. It'll be okay. What if it isn't? What if it isn't? I'm sorry. I just, I really cannot be around anyone right now. Said you, <clears throat> you lost a lot of blood. It's gonna be fine. You gave me the scare of my life. I don't know what happened. You had an ectopic pregnancy. You know what that is? cost you would you ever do that to me again I just wanted us to have our baby you should have told me you were getting fertility treatments I wanted it to be a surprise Brad I thought I really really thought that I was okay that I was strong and healthy and that anything was possible well next time you want to surprise me how about that birthday party you kept hinting about I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I didn't tell you. I wish I would have. I wish you would have, too. But I knew that you didn't want to try anymore. Because I don't want to risk your health. I mean, as much as I want a baby, I want you more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the last time I will ever keep a secret from you. You promise? I promise. Do you forgive me? Yeah, I forgive you. <laughs> of course. You're okay. Nothing else matters. <laughs>